Welcome back to Cut Above Tarot, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Guys, and Venus, and Cuss Babies. How y'all doing? Virgo, this is going to be your financial message for your season. Okay. Don't forget to, get to hit the like, share, subscribe, and comment button. Get in where you fit in. If you don't find yourself in this video, Virgo, please check your other placements, and I'll see you there, too. If you're cruising and viewing, all views are appreciated. If you're a return subscriber, thank you for your support. And if you are checking in on a friend, hello, friend. Oh, Virgo. Hmm. You might be having a little problem with getting something to connect or to start off uh, for the first part of your uh, season. Alright, so let's find out what's going on with the Virgos and their finances. Alright, Virgo. You've got the Nine of Wands here. Okay. For some of you Virgos are working. Yeah, we already know you're going to be tired. Alright. You're wounded warrior, so to speak. Okay. Okay. Give me a financial message for those of you that zodiac sign of Virgo, Seven of Wands. All right, you might be tired, but you ain't gonna give up. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, it's ten of Pentacles, baby. Yeah, you on your grind about your money, and ain't nothing funny about that. Eight of Swords says, yeah, you 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 you've been pondering on it, you've been thinking about this, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're tired, but you ain't going to give up on it. I know it. Ooh, baby. You got the two of pentacles here on the seven of wands, okay? All right, yeah. So you you juggling, maybe robbing Peter to pay Paul, so to speak, okay? So you can stay balanced, okay? Maybe you got two ideas, two thoughts, you know? Yeah. But uh, let's see what else is going on for Virgo. During their season pertaining to their finances. This is a financial message for Virgo. It's those on the zodiac sign of Virgo. Alright, any more messages? How is Virgo's money going to be the first week of them? Not so far. Okay. So, Nine of Swords is here. Okay, you're going to be a little worried, sugar. You're going to be a little worried. You're going to be feeling like you're on shaky ground. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're going to feel like you don't have enough. Okay. That you're putting out more than what's coming in. You know, them bills ain't nothing to play with, are they? And to be honest with you, I think somebody just go through and do a random and say, okay, everybody under the under the alphabet of such and such, they bill going to be high. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, I know some of y'all think just like me, trying to figure out what the hell going on. All right? You got the Knight of Wands here. Okay, look like you got some, uh, so you got some encouraging messages coming in. All right? All right, when it comes to your finances, okay, somebody's going to give you a very encouraging message, okay? You may have some epiphanies or get some new ideas, okay, on how to make some finances come in. Four Pentacles, you feel like that you don't have enough, okay? You don't have enough to share, okay? You're stagnant. you got to sit on your money, okay? Knight of Cups is here, all right? You keep your energy in check, okay? Yeah, you're not letting nobody see you sweat, Okay, yeah, you keep your emotions in check. That's just like a Virgo. Virgos can hold, they can hold a face for a long time. And they wait till they get behind closed door, and then they let it rip. All right, Virgo, look like uh, you got a queen of pentacles here. Yeah, this might be the start of a new adventure, a new endeavor, opening up your own business. You know, selling some stuff. It looks like you're going to be in hermit mode, doing some reflecting, okay, thinking about it, okay? Uh, probably assessing or if you got what it takes to do this, you know, to start a business, all right? To sell some stuff, take on a side job, okay? You got this here, um, page of sorts here, all right? Now, that page is saying that either you're doing some observing or some spying, 
okay, or some kind of, maybe you're feeling a little deceptive or you're feeling like uh, um, uh, a little jealous, okay, you could be feeling this way, Virgo, okay, Knight of Swords is here, all right, so this is you over here, Virgo, you're looking in, okay, you're trying to get a handle on stuff, all right, you're checking out other places and people, maybe doing some research, okay, all right, prior to uh, making a decision to become a queen of pentacles, male or female, it doesn't matter, all right, this knight of swords says that, okay, uh, you're gonna, you got a message that you're sending back over here, all right, to that other, to that, um, where you at, to this knight of wands. All right, <clears throat> so the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords got a conversation now. So this Knight has told you some very inspiring and some creative things that you could do, or else even gave you an epiphany of some sort. Okay, where you could, how you could become a Queen of Pentacles and look like you got some words back that you're saying back to this Knight of Swords, Wands that one could be a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Okay. And this Knight of Swords, if this not you, it could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius also that's coming in and giving you some truth. All right. Okay. Could be a lover. Okay. Or somebody that's really close to you. Could even be a sibling. But it's somebody that's close to you, oh, Virgo. All right. Look here. You got another encouraging message coming in. All right. Well, look like you're going to be encouraged a lot during the month. Of uh, I mean, during the uh, Virgo uh season, look at that. You got the Sun card that came out. All right, awesome. Okay, so things are gonna look like you're gonna end up being this Queen of Pentacles anyway. I like that, Virgo. I think that's really awesome. You're gonna take the initiative to go ahead on and improve your finances for the month for your uh for doing your um your season for August and September of Virgo. All right. Now, you got a lover here that's doing some devilish, man. I don't know if, uh, if this is a lover or it could be somebody that's very close to you, somebody you're intimate with or platonic, but this is somebody very close to you. You got the devil card here. We're going to have to find out what that is. Okay. All right. Look like this person wants a new beginning with you. Somebody want to start over, start fresh. Virgo, right now, you ain't got your mind on nothing but your money, baby. You ain't trying to do nothing but stay stable. I heard that. Mm-hmm, two of cups, yeah, look at this mofo, Virgo, they want to come back, they want to be your in all be all, they want to fulfill your cup, and you fulfill that, now Virgo, I take this as if somebody got some regrets, somebody did some, some, some bullshit to you, all right, and now they think, oh, look at that, that's going to be an altercation between you and old girl or old boy, whoever this is, is trying to come back, talking about, I love you, all right, you fulfill my cup, I didn't realize how good I had it when, when I was with you until I left you. Ain't that some bullshit, Virgo? <laughs> but ain't that how it go? People don't realize how good they have it until after, uh, until the well is, what they say, you don't miss your water till your well run dry. Well, Virgo, looks like uh, somebody's not going to miss their water until they well is ran dry. And, and it's probably not already down to the last cup in that damn well. Mm-hmm. Okay. So this could be a Scorpio Council Pisces that's coming to you. It could be a Sagittarius Aries Leo. They want to start some foolishness with you. But also, could also be a, a Libra Gemini Aquarius that's asking you for a brand new start. Start over. Le uh, look at that Virgo. Virgo, male or female, your intuition is on point, baby. Whatever you think it is, that's exactly what it is. You already know this person only coming back to you because they just realized that they didn't they didn't realize how good they had until they left you. Uh-huh. And Virgo look like here. You got a wish that's being granted to you. Mm-hmm. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Now look at that. Wheel of Fortune. Congratulations, Virgo. So Virgo look like you're gonna get exactly what you've been desiring, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a wish has been granted to you, okay? You the high priestess, okay? He or she who knows, okay? Yeah, you do. And Wheel of Fortune says that you got good fortune, good luck on your side, and favor, sugar. All right? Okay. And this is during the month of August the 21st, 
all the way to September, but it's September the 20th for those under the zodiac sign of Virgo and also the cusp babies, all right? All right, and uh, those are and, uh, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus and other places. So please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let's see. I'm going to see if I can get you a daily healing card on this Virgo. Let's see if there's a daily healing card for those under the zodiac sign of Virgo. Do you have a daily healing card for those under the zodiac sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and other places, including Cus Babies? One more shuffle. All right. Are there any healing messages for those under the zodiac sign of, of, of Virgo? Three shuffles, please. Two shuffles. One more shuffle, please. On the bottom it says, try to avoid harmful influences. The first card that came out says, use equanimity to calm your emotions. Last but not least, Virgo, they say, Know that truth is a living force, whether you believe in it or not. Know that truth is a living force, whether you believe in it or not. All right, Virgo, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe, and comment. Get in where you fit in if you didn't find anything in this video that can support you, that you can connect to, that resonates in any shape, form, or fashion. Please check out your other places, and I'll see you there, too. Love you, love you much, Virgo. See you in the next video. Yay, yay.